I can't stop hitting my head against this brick wall. But I will say that I did get close yesterday, so... The boss fight took you three or four tries. Oh, there's a boss fight behind the artifacts? Spoiler! No, just kidding, it's fine. I kind of assumed there would be. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, okay. Um, there is one thing I wanted to try. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting. All right, what music? I wish you could do, you could do shuffle. Right, let's go with that one. Did I visit the artifact place? I did visit that early on. It looked pretty cool, but I haven't gone to the crash site. It's telling me to go there now. Okay. So this is already... I have the phase on suit. Yes, I got it yesterday. That was, uh... It took me two attempts to do the fight, like, I kind of realized too late how the fight worked. So, I, I died. I got, I got close, though. But then the second attempt, it was easy, like, I figured it out. The suit looks really cool, and, ugh, the quality of it. Though the, uh... I gotta say, the Metroids that divide, that is, that is scary shit. The Morphle looks amazing, yeah. I remember the first time I saw that on 3D, on the Wii, like, still very good. Kind of recontextualizes the whole phase on thing in uh, in three for me. Like, uh... They did well on the remaster. If they don't remaster the next year, you will never buy a game ever again and just steal them instead. I really hope, you know, the, the rumblings are untrue. That's kind of hard to say. Like, I think this is successful because people want Metroid, but also just people can tell when it's a good remaster, you know? Like, not, not something that's just a cash grab. I guess that's the thing. It's... Everyone that I've talked to about this, um, right from the get-go, you know, they, they say... When they saw that trailer, they could just tell that it was going to be a quality uh, remaster. So it was it was a no-brainer buy. And I think if they don't 
give it the same treatment. I don't feel like the other the other two will be. But I'm hoping that this is done well enough that they'll be like, oh no, we have to absolutely give them the same treatment. Can't imagine releasing a beautiful first game of the series and then release doo-doo of the other two. Well, I mean, look at the... Not to be pessimistic, but look at the Mario 3D collection. I mean, that was already bad, but... They gave... Um... Galaxy a good treatment. But then Sunshine and 64 were not treated equally. Like, apparently Galaxy had a little bit more to it than just basic uh, emulation. Oh yeah, if they did a twin pack, that'd be... I think that would be a way to soften the blow. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, I guess we'll have to see. I'm, I'm hoping my gut instinct is... They developed all three in tandem. And then they're just going to trickle them out over the next year and a half. As uh, the marketing for Metroid Prime 4. It's kind of wild, like... For the first time ever, I think, in a Nintendo console's history, the Metroid series has gotten more attention than mainline Mario. Like, consider how many mainline Mario games have released on the Switch versus Metroid games now. If you count Metroid Prime 4, If they're just upscales, they better be $40 for both, yeah. I think that's what people would want to pay. The remaster was worth 60 but I don't think it would have convinced you at the outset. Like, you're saying that now, after the fact. Like, yeah, you know what, that was, that was a good one. Worth the effort. But upon seeing it, if they would have shown a $60 price tag, I would have been like, mm, I don't know. But that's just me that, you know, doesn't have the nostalgia for that game that some people do. I was definitely always interested in playing it. But, uh, $60? I probably would have just been like, nah, I'll, I'll do the, the trilogy on the Wii because I have access to that. smart. Wait, you had a vengeance against Prime because you had never beaten? Despite many childhood arrows. <laughs> That's fair. No. I don't think there's any game that I've kind of left unfulfilled. Eventually, I do get there, even if it takes years upon years, I, I do get there. Granted, there are some things that I never did, like the second quest in the original Zelda I just never bothered with. And that's something I only got to do recently, so... 
But I wouldn't say it was unfulfilled, it was just, nah. <laughs> I couldn't finish the first quest. Metroid was the only unfulfilled game for you. Right. I mean, I definitely want to play the whole Metroid series. Because that's an... I guess that's now another... Aside from other M, which we... We don't really talk about as much compared to the other ones. Because I've heard that one's bad. I have a way to play all of them. With, oh, and Federation Forces is like another one that it's technically a Metroid game, but originally it was developed to be something else and then it was rebranded as a Metroid game. chest right away. But I mean, we're talking mainline ones, right? So like, the original Super Metroid, Zero Mission, um, Fusion, Metroid Prime 1 to 3, um, and uh, of course Dread. I have a way to play all of them. Oh yeah, Samus Returns, that's the other one I'm missing. Like, I had both the Game Boy version and the, uh, the remake. Oh, no. It's okay, I still got another life. It didn't give me the upgrade. The other Metro games don't interest you because you tried them, they just lack the atmospheric charm. Hmm. Which one did you try? Out of interest. Samus Return impressed you. The very first one. Oh no, the vi Are you talking about like the NES one. The very first one's different. That one plays more like an arcade game. In my opinion, anyone that wants to get into the Metroid series, they need to get into the Super Nintendo one work first, because that's the one that has the atmospheric charm. The, the NES one, it's kind of like the original Zelda. It's, if you want to understand the series origins, it's great, but it doesn't by any means represent what the 2D ones are about. I mean, you'll see what- once I get around to it, you'll see what I mean. There's a big difference. This does have to be so tedious, honestly. But 
But I mean, I think the best of the the old ones. Um, if you want to play the original, the original original one, you should play the get the GBA remake, which is Zero Mission. Zero Mission is a remake of the first one, but it's got the atmosphere of the rest of the series. So it's like the environments are better, and the maps are better. You did try the SNES one. Greatest and massive improvement in Charm Factor. We struggle with the graphics of the NES and SNES. That's, that is fair. You're surprised that you're enjoying the Oracle games. Since sprite graphics have already been lackluster. But I think the Game Boy games are more forgivable. There's something about Game Boy that has a charm. You know? Try, try Zero Mission and try Fusion. That would be my recommendation. I mean, especially because you grew up with the Game Boy Advance, like, I think you'll enjoy those a lot more. Zero Mission retells uh, the first game, so I think that's the definitive way to play the original. Much like how, um, you know, the remake of, uh, of 2, of Samus Returns. Like, yeah, you could always play the Game Boy version, but it's not as good. What they've done in, in Samus Returns for the 3DS is, is awesome. And that's the equivalent. Like, Zero Mission is just a much better way to play um, the first game. I reckon try the Game Boy Advance ones. You might be surprised. And Fusion had interesting mechanics. It had some pretty cool things in it. You had it aiming on the SNES version. Ah, yeah, but that's, that, I guess that's just a product of the era. That's just one of those things that like, someone that's never played Mario 64 before, and then, you know, grew up on, say, Odyssey, or one of the later games, goes back and plays it, they'll be like, what is wrong with this camera? I, I, I think give the, the GBA ones a try. I think those are like the top quality Metroid ones. The Super Nintendo one is iconic, but I can definitely understand people not enjoying that one. The other thing to remember is, like, the era of the GBA of Metroid. That was where, uh, yeah, that was where Dread was supposed to be released. But they just couldn't execute it on the hardware. Like, imagine a game being in development limbo for that long. <laughs> definitely has potential now, I just need the OLED switch plus Dread is so hard. Oh no, yeah. I 
I'm not gonna lie, I, I saw I saw uh, someone playing Dread on the Switch when it first came out, and I was like, oh, that's so tempting. I mean, I did eventually cave because my Switch is just, my original Switch was just way too old. Battery just wasn't lasting anymore, and it, it had been, uh, the original case was cracked, it was just, it was a day one Switch, right? And it makes sense, it, the timing was roughly to get a new console, so I was like, alright, fine. And I'm very happy with my OLED. The screen is really good. And there are certain games that just look so much better on it, and Dread is definitely one of them. Definitely a worthy upgrade. I just hope that whatever comes next is significant enough. Interesting. That's a banish instead of pick up. got something. The matrix pattern of OLED pixels makes it look this jaggedy. There's some there's a lot of little things to be said about that that you don't realize. At least, when you hear OLED, it's just, once you have it, you appreciate it a lot more. I mean, I definitely had to see it to be convinced. If you play games at night time, it's just another thing. What am I going to do here? I mean, I don't want AOE. I think I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> the butt flap on it is satisfying. I mean, I guess, I guess you can call it that. Butt flap. It's also, there's something to be said about the plastic it's made out of as well, it's just, it doesn't feel like as bad. There was something about the original plastic that I just felt like it was going to break. I don't know why. might just because this character has I noticed a very bad might start and I think that'll go a long way
It just makes me think about the uh, the PS Vita. Because I had an OLED screen and it was so good. And this is one of these things where I feel like Sony could have made a good handheld. It's just they ultimately messed up in two spots. It was they insisted on going with some weird proprietary media and then they just didn't release games on it. I feel like if they were to try again, they might be more successful this time. Like, technology's kind of caught up. They did no marketing, no. Well, that's the thing, like... It did well in Japan, it didn't do well anywhere else, because they just, I guess, didn't treat it seriously. But I mean, if, if you look at how much the Steam Deck is starting to do the rounds, they could do something with a portable and make it work with the PS5. Like, just make that experience almost seamless, and I think they could do well. Like, obviously let it play games standalone. But if they could do what the Steam Deck does, which they already do with remote play, but it's not a seamless experience. Don't think they would be successful. They have to fight Nintendo, Steam Deck, and Lenovo. Yeah, I don't take Lenovo seriously, though. I think Valve is succeeding purely on the virtue that, like, people want a more powerful switch and the steam the steam deck is is really good it's just i think at the end of the day there's still things that are a bit jank about it from what i've read and the killer thing is like you know say what they will but linux compatibility with games only goes to a certain point it's getting better but i don't think it'll be true or is in a portable that is kind of designed to work with C Sony's PlayStation ecosystem would probably do a lot better. Because it would be purchased by people that have PlayStations, I guess, and not someone that doesn't. I guess that's all I'm saying, like... I think they could do it. You'd have to hold a Steam Deck in person before considering it. The layout looks uncomfortable. Yeah, I've heard that if you have big hands, it's good. But I don't, I'm not convinced by the buttons. I don't know, just the positioning up the top. It seems weird, but... Since they're not selling them in Australia, like I, that's like a leap of faith I would have to take. But I mean, aside from that, I like the idea of being able to play my Steam library. It's great. Okay, I need to get ready. Did that work? I don't know if it worked. I saw the thing appear. I'm not sure if I was successful or not. I saw the thing appear. I may have just succeeded in what I was trying to do. You also have way too many ways to play games. Definitely don't need more. I guess that's why I'm talking about a PlayStation Portable working with the PlayStation. Because... I don't need a new way to play PC games. I need it, like, to be able to have the same functionality that the Switch does, but have my PlayStation games, and it just leverages my PS5, that'd be great for me. I 
And I'm sure there are a lot of people that would want something like that. Especially if their, like, whole cloud streaming thing gets good enough. Like, being able to just, you know, have your PS5 sitting at home and then you just connect to it and play the game no matter where you are. Sure, it wouldn't be ideal for every game, but I think that'd be pretty nice. The remote play is very good, yeah. I guess that's what I'm saying, is like, a handheld that was designed with that in mind and was just a bit more seamless than what it is right now. Also, the audio is cutting out because there's too much shit going on, so sounds off. But that's good, I've, I've reached a point where I am powerful. Which doesn't happen that often with this character. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, what am I getting? I guess wand. Didn't the PS4 have the Vita? Well, yes and no. It wasn't the greatest experience. Like, you'd have to connect to the console, you'd have to set it up on the console. It just wasn't- it wasn't seamless. Like, what I'm talking about has to be to the point where, like, you have the same game library and you click to launch it and then it'll either leverage the PS5 or it won't. Not a start remote play. Connect to your PS5. Like, with that, they don't need to do that. They have a phone. People won't see the value of it, but if it's something where it's treated like you can play your games... And they might run at a lower resolution, but, you know, they're effectively what your PS4 and PS5 library is. Or you can leverage your PS5 if you have one. That is a much better experience. I'm talking dream scenario here, but like, of course, reality. I can't believe this is happening. I'm actually going to go try and murder things. <laughs> you want a console that hooks to your brain and your consciousness plays the game? Yeah, I don't know. That... You kind of get into the whole thing of at what does your brain start to question reality reality like that that's the rabbit hole you go down of where eventually someone's gonna have an existential crisis where they're like wait what if uh, what if like what i perceive as reality is just really i'm sitting in a game already and i'm not waking up There would have to be something around, like, I don't know, knowing what's real and what's not. It's a bit hard. And then there's also the thing of, like, think about games that do insidious things, like pushing advertisements. That means they're pushing advertising directly to your brain. Just think about that. Aren't they already? Uh, I mean... To some degree, yeah. To another degree, it's just... At the end of the day, there's still some semblance of... Uh, of agency. Like, if an ad pops up, I can choose to not look at it. 
If it's being beamed directly into my consciousness, I, I feel like there's no choice there anymore. And there are also people that, you know, ads don't affect them as much. Like, if I'm generally never going to be interested in something, I don't give it another thought ever again. But in the case of things that I don't have an interest in now, but it's likely to, like, I'm going to have a need for something like that, then that's where brand awareness comes into play. The only ads that affect your food ads. <laughs> uh, I think I'm kind of the same. The other thing is just, I guess, being aware of certain technology. Because I have to be in the know of that stuff. Imagine that. I'm getting up to this point. Ooh. Okay, it's a little bit touch and go, but I think I should be okay. Once he bought a belt that you saw in an ad. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty targeted. I think I've, outside of games, food, and, um, I guess movies to some degree. Let's just lump it in as entertainment media. I can't say I've really gotten stuff. Oh, and technology, of course, like gadgets and shit. Yes, Will, talk about your, your, uh, like... Advertising preferences. <laughs> Please. Tell the internet how you can be marketed to. Holy crap. I might die. You would love to only get ads for the things you want. I mean, that's kind of what targeted ads are supposed to do. It's one of those things that, like, it's conceptually scary, but at the same time, it's like, listen, the reality of capitalism and the world is you're going to get ads one way or another. So the train of thought is, like, you can avoid them and get ads for absolutely fucking everything, or you get ads for stuff that you're actually interested in, and... I mean, which is the lesser evil? Like, they know so much about you that they tailor stuff, or they they just, they don't know, they pretend they don't know anything about you. Let's face it, they still know a lot about you. I don't know. I just have to survive for the next minute. I can see how turning on charm is, is not a good thing, ultimately. It might help in, in the beginning, but at the end, this is, uh, this is a lot more enemies. I'm dead. Uh. I don't think I got it, though. I didn't get it. I missed it, but I did see it on the up. The positive thing is I did see it. I just didn't do it. At least not quick enough. It's dumb. Down enter. That's so stupid. Anyway, I'll try it again. But I know now that it, it does indeed work. 
on this stage. And I'm having more success here. Gonna make pizza? <laughs> because we were talking about pizza. Oh, pizza. It's a good idea. I'm kind of the same. Talking about chicken a lot, I'll probably want to get some chicken. I'll get it this time. Luck. Again. Very good. Okay, good, 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 good. Good start. This is, this is going really well. They've already set up the majority of the build here. Uh, I think I will do this one. Where's my pentagram? Holy heart, wow, okay. I'm trying something else this time. I believe. Fine. It's a good one to get because across the board.
Golga is the plan I should get at this time. I have the setup. I just need to keep at it. Okay, let's build complete for now. the chest. Alright, I mean, I'm aiming for the 19 minute mark at this point, or 20, whatever it is. Whenever that other one appears. Pentagram, please. Why are you failing me? Okay, there we go. There we go. That's the ticket right there. Am I going for a hundred percent? Ah, see that's hard because there's two definitions of it. There's get all Steve achievements, and then there's finish everything with every character. I'm not convinced I'm gonna do finish everything with every character. All the Steam achievements, maybe. That seems more doable. I just like this game because I can play it. And it's something that I don't really have to be too attentive to, to some degree. I, I can have a beverage right next to me. Every time I play this, I'll have a snack or a drink next to me. And that's great. I can also look at chat. I can stop whenever I want. Like, it's, it's good. How far away am I from completing it? There are three Steam achievements that I don't have. So that's what I'm working on, is like, one of them involves doing all the secrets in the secret menu and then you get something for it, so. I'm at the point where I believe there's one more thing after this, and then it, whatever I get, I get. What you like about the Chromebook, you can run Underlords. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, that's... The other thing is... Sometimes you need a game like that. I don't know. Underlords is, is very similar in that regard, as you, you kind of just play it and... You can let it do its own thing. 
But you still need to be active to some degree. Well, fuck me. It actually didn't give me the pentagram upgrade. I was actually counting on that. When I first heard of this game, I just... I saw it and I was like, that, yeah, that looks cool. I mean, I can see it being fun, but I don't think it's going to keep my attention for that long. I just... It's not until you play it. I don't know. It gives me, like, a weird... A weird dopamine hit. Is ready. <laughs> it's what Candy Crush Saga is to forty-year-old moms. Ah, uh, I don't know if I like the phrasing of that, but I mean, uh, yeah. I can agree with that to some extent. I mean, there are other games that do that in a different way, like Diablo does that for me when it comes to finding loot and killing stuff. Um, Stardew. Starting with nothing and then kind of ending up with something, like I just lose track of time. Terraria does a similar thing in its exploration piece, so... And then, of course, there's games that should be frustrating, but they're the good kind of frustrating. That's definitely masochism, but, you know. It's also a dopamine hit. <laughs> Okay, now I just gotta survive up until the 21 minute mark, whatever it was. You know, you know what, what's funny is like, in that statement of 40 year old mothers, I don't know if the intent was like, oh, making it seem like old people game. 40 is not that far off from my age. That's fucking scary. Not that I act like it, but you know. There's not that whole much of a difference between me and a 40 year old mother, just saying. Other than the fact that they're a mother. I mean, I've said this before, like I I'm pretty consistent with how I've been. Like, some of the stuff where I act like an old man, it's just... I would have been like that when I was a teenager. I've been pretty consistent. 
I have yet to hit that point where it's just like 100% old man mode. Haven't changed since you were 12, you look the same. As a 12 year old? No. Maybe in behavior. I've definitely changed my behavior, but uh, in the way, in the things that I enjoy, I think that hasn't changed. go tilt pizza in the oven go fine <laughs> i'm still gonna be up to this part all right there we go that's that's the thing that i need most important item now that i have this this should be good Keep working on the advanced version of it. Hey, Sandy. How's it going? Okay, 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 okay. Hang in there, hang in there. I'll wait for the level up. Just needs to happen one more time. Give weapon, please. Thank you. Okay. All right, now life is good. I mean, kind of. Oh, okay. Am um, I doing all right? Just wrapped up work. For the week. A little bit earlier than usual. Just had a lot on today, so.
Accidentally ran into it. I mean, other than that, just set up so, like, during Easter, I'd practically have a week off work just by taking two days off. It's a good Friday and the Monday. So that's gonna be nice. I do it every year just to have like a disconnect. Fine. Just need to pay attention for the next two minutes. No, but see, ugh, I need the other bird first. Yeah, I need the other bird first. Wait, too many pieces in French? Oh, recital thing, right. This is fine, usually said by something that's not fine. <laughs> eh, sometimes, but sometimes you're confident. It usually does describe a situation that could go either way. I'm just gonna grab this now. One more level, okay. Go, go, 
There's the other bird. Good. All right. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. We got skull now. Where's, where's the Reaper? I need to be ready for this. I don't know if it spawned. I think it's in 10 seconds, so I need to get ready. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I have to pay attention for this part. This is where I need to do the thing. Is that? Or did I miss the window? Hang on, let me check the guide. It says a blue one light up. I don't say when. It's usually around here. Uh, when recitals over, what you're gonna watch? Uh, I don't know. Where is it? No, I must have missed it. It should have appeared by now. to have missed it. Fuck. I didn't see the thing though. Do this again. It doesn't appear. What? What did I? Hang on. I'm looking for a, a raper. So one appears at the nine-minute mark. And another one is supposed to appear around the 20 minute mark. So the challenge is with this character, when the moment you murder the reaper, you are supposed to press down enter. Because that's like a reference to Mortal Kombat. And then you unlock a character. And that completes the challenge. 
And so it's already hard enough to pull off. And I saw, I, I just didn't do it in time last time. I definitely did see it happen. But it just, I think, I don't know what happened this time. I either looked away for a sec and it appeared or I don't know, maybe it just, there's a chance for the blue one. The green one's definitely guaranteed. I'm just not sure about the blue one that appears at 20 minutes. So, I don't know. I'm hoping, kind of hoping that it still appears. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to try again, which sucks, but it is what it is. That's what I need to do. Okay. Yeah, good. Now I should have no problems with survival. I get the feeling I think I looked away at a bad time and it just... It probably appeared on screen. Because it's like for one second you need to do it really quickly. Otherwise it just... It vanishes. It's such an annoyingly specific thing. There's only two minutes left, so I think I've, I've just missed that, which... I'm so close. It's so far. Okay, well that's, that's build done. It's possible to do it at the nine minute mark, but it needs like a very specific set of circumstances to happen. Oh my god. Alright, that's one life. The 29 minute mark is just so brutal, like it just instantly... I don't know how I'm supposed to survive that. <laughs> okay, well I gotta try again. This character just sucks, like I, I don't like this character. 
It's one of those characters that's just a joke. But, alright, let's pick another track. I can turn the sound back on. Whoops. It's fine. Uh, alright. So the specific scenario to get it at the 9 minute mark is to have the pentagram fully upgraded at that point, which is, it's doable, it's just difficult. No! Ah, oh, the rest! <laughs> rest experience points, I need it. Stupid pentagram. Oh, this was a gamble, but... Okay, and I, I just one more orb. One more orb. Give orb. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it can't be a passive. It has to be something that I uh, can attack with. That'll do. set up now. I've already been playing this for an hour and a half. Alright. Well, I try to give this, like, a window of about two hours every time, so... move on to Zelda soon. Wow, that's so unlucky. I 
I failed every single roll with the pentagram. It's just destroyed stuff every time. Dude! <laughs> My odds and statistics, what's going on? Okay, thank you. Excellent. Double pentagram. All right. I have three minutes to get two more levels in the upgrade. It might, it might happen. Don't worry, that was my phone. It wasn't USB error. <laughs> If you heard the unplugging sound, for some reason, when I put my phone to charge, like, that's just what happens. I don't know why. Even though it's not connected with data, it's just, like, on a... Uh, just an induction charge. That's all it is. I'm not sure why it triggers a USB connection sound, or disconnection sound. It's okay, still got another life. This is the thing, I'm not really interested in winning, I just want to do the reaper thing. I don't even have to beat the stage. All I have to do is just do the, the thing. And then I can stop playing this character <laughs> for a while. Like, isn't that sad?
on pentagram where you at Getting level 30 first. Ah, I died. Damn it. Ugh, I hate this character. <laughs> so annoying. Ah. Okay. Kinda had to. Uh-oh. Well, this is a problem. I don't want any of that. I might have to restart this. It did not give me whip. Something similar. Like it doesn't have to be whip, but just something I can defend with. That that'll do. Okay. This is more or less set up minus the defensive item.
This is so much harder without something like garlic. Or book or the uh the ball. Yes. Hmm. Wish it would have been pentagram, but it's okay. Oh shit, I should have gone for the cooldown book. Oh, it's fine. Was my freak kills, thank you. Confidence is not high. I might have to pick this up as a defensive item. Just give myself some wiggle room. Otherwise this is going to get really hard. Now it gives me garlic. Okay. After I picked something up to make up for the fact that I didn't get garlic. Or the, uh, the ball item.
I'm holding on to that chest. This one's probably not going to work out. <laughs> I needed that to be Whip or the Pentagram. It was neither. Yeah, this comes down to I just did not get a defensive ability. And then my other items just did not come up on time. Gala came out too late. Preferably I should have gotten the ball thing, but it just never came up either, so... It just... It just happened. It's alright. Everything else was fine, it was just... I had no way to defend the ghost. And the, the one option that came up, I grabbed it, but it's not because I wanted to. It was just... Nothing else had appeared and I was gonna die if I didn't, so... Start. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired of this character. Why did I skip garlic? Because the first item needs to be a whip, or there's there's a couple of items, just something that defends your character directly. Garlic, you have to be directly next to the enemy. There, so like, there we go. Now I can go from here. I need something that I can just reliably slash them and not have to worry. Then pentagram, okay. Alright, this is a good start. Now, a defensive item for my character. Garlic, the book, or preferably the, uh... The thing that looks like a necklace of balls. Crown. Interesting. Get pentagram. The garlic deals with, like, the tiny skulls easily, but when you get up to the skeletons, you're just screwed. If you don't have something else to damage them with. Fuck. Alright, we're good. 
build set up. Alright, this has a good chance of succeeding now. Gotta love the candy box. Let's you pick whatever item you want. There's a blue candy box which lets you pick base weapons and then an orange one which gives you an upgraded weapon. The orange candy box is really rare. But the blue one, it gives me this, which is probably the best item on this character. Just because of how much it does, with just one point in it, it's kind of insane. It's this character and then its complementary character, which... Forget which one it is, but it has a high curse value. Like, this takes advantage of the fact that this character has a good luck stat. I can just walk through stuff and there's there's no problem. And it keeps you pretty safe. Oh, night and day. Night and day. <laughs> no stress now. Now I can chill. I guess I should, huh? That completes the builds, like twin birds, twin whips. I got lucky. The pentagram was not high level. What level is it? It's level 2, so it's... I got lucky that it didn't destroy the chest. Okay, uh, yeah, keep going with that. There are some characters where there are items that are just straight up. You get it, you're gonna have a good time. What does the chest do? It drops items, so... The way it works, in the top left, you see how, you know, the items have levels. Each square is a level. When it reaches its full potential, um, some items will combine with others. And when you get a chest, they'll combine. Others, it'll be like, you need a passive, and then they get upgraded. So, for example, the crown will upgrade the pentagram at max rank once you, once you pick up a chest. The birds, when both of them are max rank and you pick up a chest, they merge into one bird. So those are the two ways you can upgrade. It's like they'll either upgrade naturally once they're maxed out, or you need a specific item in your passives for it to happen. Um, can always consult this thing. So there you go. You can see him here. Okay. Sometimes the chests will also drop candy boxes if you're really lucky. Which gives you a, a free bonus item. So even if you've maxed out the number of items you have, it'll still add another one on top. I have a good upgrade path ahead of me. Like, I've, as far as I'm concerned, my build is pretty much there. The thing I need to prioritize is Pentagram, because that's the item used to kill the Reaper instantly. So if I can get it done before the 9 minute mark, it means I can do it then, otherwise I have to rely on the one that happens later. So unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna make it, because it's only level 3 and it just keeps giving me other stuff, so... I'm prioritizing the Whip first, because that'll let me heal off a hit. I think I have the correct strategy, like what I have here has been working consistently. It's just, the final aspect is really getting the Reaper kill and doing the thing that I need to do.
This is why this game is addictive. <laughs> you have to really think about things sometimes, and it's satisfying when combos work. Okay, not picking that up yet. It needs to be one more level of whip and then level 30, I think. There's the one level of whip, one more level. Every character has a playstyle, and I think I, I get what this one's is. It's not... I don't, I don't like it, but I, I think I understand that a lot better than I did before. Okay, let's get that chest before it suffers a fate. Okay, unfortunately no upgrade, but that's okay. We've got a pentagram at least for free. The key to this character honestly is this ball item. And then the way I've been working it is using the whip to stay alive and then just items that have a big cooldown and reducing that cooldown. It seems to work. Since you're forced into the birds, The birds is one of those big cooldown items. They just go off every now and then. Okay. There's a skull directly on top of me. One death, one death is allowed, one death is allowed. I need that pentagram to go off now. Right now, come on. Thank you. Okay, getting it. Hey. It didn't give me the whip upgrade, are you kidding? That's unlucky. Yeah, that's... I don't know how this is gonna go now. this point, ideally I should be healing off stuff. <laughs> the broken graphics are better. All I see is, it just reminds me of Pokemon. Missing no. I don't know why it happens, it's probably like a graphics card incompatibility or something. 
but it does, I guess it does look a bit more ominous, like I'm absorbing a shadow power or something. Point, I am trusting my birds are gonna <laughs> Where Reaper? Uh, any any minute now. That's a good point, it should have appeared. There, there it is. Unfortunately I don't have the correct item to kill it. So it doesn't count. Yeah, it runs away. I need the other one. So now we gotta wait for the the one the blue one, which happens at about twenty minutes. At this point, I need to have the upgraded pentagram, because that's the one that one-shots the Reaper. So... Watch me get it now. Fuck, I hate this game. <laughs> if this would've happened... If this would've happened 15 seconds earlier, I would've had it. Oh my god. Alright, well... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but at least now the path forward is a little cleaner. Oh wait, no it's not, because I don't have heal. I need that heal. I can't believe I have both of the whips ready, and it still hasn't given me the upgrade. So first to do one whip, upgrade, then finish the second whip, then converge. Converge. Is my whip? The 
thing that sucks the most about this particular stage, when you destroy candles in any other stage, they have a chance of dropping chicken, which heals you. This stage does not do it. Okay, okay. There's the whip, thank you. <laughs> okay, I need to heal off this immediately. Oh, please, please survive. No. Ah! <laughs> the game did not give me the whip in time. That should have happened sooner, it just... RNG. Ugh. I'm so close to getting this done. The difference of me getting it done was 15 seconds there. One chest, 15 seconds. That's, that's it. That's all it was. Let's just trust in the pentagram. I can hold out for a little bit longer. That'll do it. Anything for direct attacks. No, you know what? Let me just restart. Because... Ugh, what I have... What I have in mind has worked. It's got to mean really far in this. I don't think there's been a single time where it hasn't worked. I just need to trust that it, I, it's just a timing thing right now. That was lucky. Okay. Whip. Thank you. Okay. I just need the ball. Or any anything similar. Ball preferably. But there's, there's other substitutes I can fake. Candy box. Amazing. I can pick it. I'll go with garlic, since it, it, it's here. I'll do the health regen version. It's not it's not as good, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. I'll just I'll take what I can get.
Okay, this is going to be a slightly different build I'm going to do. Fireworks. is just not as good as the ball. <laughs> I always questioned that item until I started playing this character. I understand why that item exists now. The garlic's just not working as well. I mean, it, it does... A similar job, but it's it's not as good. It just cannot compare to the the ball. I call it the... I think it's just called 8, the item. I believe it's its official name, but I just call it the ball. Because that's just what happens. Balls circulate your character. Balls. <laughs> yes. The mighty balls. XP orbs got destroyed. For now, the build's done. <laughs> Questionable at best. How's the whip looking? Whip just needs one more to upgrade. If the whip upgrades, I'll be fine. If it doesn't and it does the same shit as last time, I'm screwed. So, hard reliance on that coming through for me. 
because, yeah, this, this is starting to run its course in terms of reliability. It's not even killing the little things anymore. need to be able to pick that up easy. I don't think I'm gonna survive. <laughs> that needed to be a whip. Okay, I got one more life. This game hates me. Uh, welcome to roguelikes. That's how they usually work. You get punished like 90% of the time, but then the 10% where things go the way you want them to. It's a rush. Just like this huge sense of validation, like, yes! Also, it just destroyed, yeah. Wow. It destroyed a chest, so I'm, I'm screwed. I'm not going to survive past the 9 minute mark. I'm going to die in the next 30 seconds. Pretty much, uh, it's either going to be before or on the 9 minute. I'm not surviving past 9 minutes. I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to get surrounded by skeletons. And I don't have sustain. So, yeah. Watch. Watch the countdown. I'm not- I'm not kidding. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Game over. Every time. That's the nine minute hurdle. Where my balls at? Uh, not investing in garlic right away. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see where this goes. Hmm, it's probably a restart. Yeah. Unless something amazing happens here, it did not. Okay. Ideally, I want the brown whip as a starting item, or the balls. Pentagram is also valid because I I need it, but the second item has to be what I'm one of those.
I'm not about to double down on Pentagram that early. <laughs> Alright, Blue Whip it is. I already think this has kind of gone disastrously, but we'll see. I don't think balls exist. They do. They're just, they're rare. Rare balls. Alright, cool. Whip. The good one, too. Go whip again. A crown. I need that anyway. Bob. Cool down. Empty heart. Pentagram. I know I'm, I'm not picking garlic. <laughs> it's just I've kind of committed to the other items. I mean, I guess I can change my mind. It's just I've, I saw garlic pop up multiple times, so it's probably likely that'll keep popping up. And at, the, at this point, it's not that important. That one item had eight in its name. Which one? Did I just not see it? Eight of something. Hmm. It looks like a... It's a circle and then there's brown balls. I'll show you the icon next time I die. Do you mean this thing? Because that had an 8 in it. It just means I'm gaining 8%, but it's not, it's not that. Oh, the Sparrow. No, it's not that. Fuck. I might- I might just have to take it. It's not- it's not ideal, but I'm gonna do it.
I'll revive. I just want to see what's coming up. This is already not good. It's giving me too many levels in bird. Okay. I will show you the item. The item that I am seeking is... Where is it? This one. 108... Uh, something. Boche. It's... Actually, it's just 8. That's what it says. And it's just because of what it does. It's... <sighs> For this character, it's the best item because it's... Damage is affected by the difference between curse and luck. It's a necklace, yeah. But they're both... Like, the item itself is like balls that's, that go around your character. Um... This item is amazing on this character because the difference between luck and curse is a big number. <laughs> it's 80. So with one point in it, the modifier is like 80, which is crazy. And it's the same with this character. Which character is it? This character as well, because this character increases its curse level every level. So by late game, that ball is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Because the difference between luck and curse is huge. And I think there's one other character. Yeah. There's one more. One that actually starts with the item. But the issue with this challenge is I can only do it with this character. So. Anyway. New music. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. I just wish you could buy it from the vendor, but I guess it, it doesn't let you. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, pentagram at least. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. <laughs> I should just play the song on loop. Candy box! Balls! <laughs> Alright. Balls acquired. See, they do exist. Just have to be mad patient about it.
Oh. It's too good, like... You go from just struggling to just, you can just run through enemies. Just with one point in it. Okay, that's the build. This is the build. At least from a weapon perspective. I have the setup again. There's Crown. Alright. Even better, it's giving me levels in Pentagram, so... Oh shit. It's a pasta, put it in a box. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy. I mean, I'm maxing bird as well, but. It's not necessarily a bad thing. All right, get that quickly. Ah, oh, damn it. Destroyed the chest before I could get it. I tried. I was about a split second away from getting it. Bird is already max, which is pretty quick. Okay, I need to take out the skeleton before anything bad happens. Okay, that works. And it's a multi chest! Nice. I guess that kind of makes up for the one that got destroyed.
Okay, watch out for the big skulls. Oh yeah, glitch graphics. <laughs> uh, I guess whip. I, I should be aiming for life leech. Definitely not going to make the the Reaper timer. Oh, maybe I can. Let's see. Okay, just a sec. Pentagram, vampire survivors. I want to see if there's another requirement. It is unlocked. No, but that's not what we want. The gorgeous moon. How does? It, how is it upgraded? Just want to say. Sorry, chat. I'm just reading the requirements of it. Just says plus crown, but then it says. doesn't really say. So I guess it's a, like, it doesn't have a hard level requirement. Okay. Didn't give me either. That's, that's great. That's... No, don't, don't give me the whip or the, the pentagram upgrade.
Is the same thing about to happen again? Like, I, I feel like the same thing's about to happen again, where... The rape will... Okay. I was going to say, the Reaper will appear, and then I just won't get the opportunity. There's the Reaper. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the chance because it's just gonna bail. I mean, it's not the whip, but... as far as I'm concerned. When birds are ready. I need another treasure chest, please. There's a chest. Ugh.
just cool down, so I, 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 need, I need things to go off sooner. Okay, here we go. Shit, it's the bird merge. I, I really didn't want that one. I need the whip. It doesn't give me the whip. Ugh. That's pretty much the difference, is I need candy box right away. I need the heal. Without the heal, that's just what happens every time. Also, this is an amazing start. This is already incredible. I need the hollow heart, but I feel like that's always going to be an option. Like I just need to focus on getting the whip as high up as I can. There is another path I can take with this, but it's less reliable. It's the path of the knife, but the knife, I have to actually murder the thing. Game, please, no more bird. This, this was such a good start, don't squander it by just giving me bird over and over again. <laughs> okay, whip. Just needs two more already. Two minutes in, Whip is like two levels off upgrading. That's not to say it's gonna go well because. Okay, one more level. <laughs> Burb. But I don't want Burb. Hello, is a Twitch chat. How's it going? Okay, Orb. Yes. There's no pentagram, by the way, yeah, so that's not good.
how is this possible? right now I'm just interested in damage damage all right bird is fully upgraded okay I'm, I'm leaving that uh, just just for a minute just for a minute So there's no pentagram, I don't need to stress that that chest is going to get destroyed accidentally. Oh yeah, I need this to upgrade the whip. Still, I needed one more level, so... It's fine. Okay, wish me luck. No upgrade! <laughs> Cause of course not. Certainly strange. How how is it not upgraded my whip? That's two chests now. How am I this unlucky? Pizza, pasta, potato, the box. This has gone from being very good to concerning. Cause if the whip would have upgraded, I would be fine. But now I'm kind of at a critical point and nothing's upgraded. Nor is it in a path of upgrading yet.
kind of have to. I was going to take a different approach with this, but this is not what I had in mind. <laughs> Wow, even the balls are upgraded now. Well, not upgraded, but like max. Okay, please be whip. It's not the whip. Dude, what is, what is going on? I guess the silver lining is weaponry I'm not spread thin, so every weapon is strong right now. But if I don't get life leech, like, I, I, I just straight up lose. Reaper time already? No, I'm not gonna get the other bird. I don't understand how this is this is still functional. Somehow I'm not being punished. Okay now that there's the sound that I don't want to hear. Well, the Reaper's gone. Please be heals. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Heal whip acquired.
There might be hope for this. I might have to go a different approach if the pentagram isn't appearing. But then again, I can't because I don't have the glove. Hmm. I was gonna go knife, but I don't have the glove. Still needs a bit of time. I got scared there for a sec. It's okay. That's that's just running into the vendor. It's nothing special. I don't want to buy anything off him. I thought I'd picked up like a a box. Right now, uh, yeah, the lack of pentagram is making a big difference because I can't kill these skulls easily. Even with a really powerful bird, it just seems to be struggling. Okay. enemies that aren't tanky. <laughs> Ocean of numbers and nothing dies. Ugh, man.
No, this is... This is not gonna work out if I can't get something that's gonna take out that Reaper at the 20 minute mark. So this was fine, except for the part where I didn't get the pentagram. Everything else was perfect. Single whip now. That was good timing. Unbelievable. Now now it gives me the pentagram. Alright. Pentagram is in play. Now I just need to level it up level it up. It's gonna do that a few times before it stops. Don't, don't do this to me. Just please, just pentagram and nothing else. take that risk. I know the chest got destroyed in the process, but I had to take that risk. This is just going to come down to, yep, that's it. Where is Blue Reaper? That is Blue Reaper. It's not gonna work. Oh god. Didn't work, chat. Not really a whole lot of point in continuing. <laughs> Everything about that was perfectly fine, except the part where it just didn't give me the pentagram. <sighs> There's always one thing missing from this. Okay, this is my final attempt, and then we'll move on to Zelda. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> All I have to do is just hit it with the upgraded pentagram and then it's over. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I do the stupid thing. And we move on. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen again. Let's just <laughs> crap it. I don't think I've ever needed such a specific set of circumstances. Um... Forget how suffering this character is. <laughs> Once you lose the ball ability. Yeah, this is not a looking like a good start either. Still gonna try because I have pentagram. There's always a chance that this works out. It's, it, there's a turning point if I get the uh, the balls. Probably not gonna happen. I think this is a do over. Too many bird levels again. Alright, that's. Yeah, that clinches it. <laughs> Destroy the chest. Uh, okay. If that chest would have not gotten destroyed, I would have kept going. And that's a bit early for that, but let's just get it while it's here. Let's see what it brings, but confidence level is not high.
Okay, I mean, whip's going strong. At this point, I would hope to have the pentagram, but it, it hasn't happened. I mean, this could get strong just because I have two weapons and I haven't been spreading myself thin, so both have pretty good power. And there's cooldown reduction on them, so... It's not to say that this can't go well. Max cooldown reduction already. But I mean, that's what we want on bird. Max bird now, too. Just because. Use it or lose it. Skeletons. I'm not really sure what to go here. Oh. Alright, it's fine. I've still got another life, but...
What? The balls. I don't have protection. They keep hitting me. Ugh. I just want one last attempt where I make it up to a Reaper. That's it. That's all I ask. Start. <laughs> Just one more. I'm being so stubborn with it because I came so close. Like, I've been trying to find a strategy that works for the past few days, and I have one that's pretty consistent. Like, it lets me get up to both Reapers. It's just the final piece is just having the luck to have that stupid pentagram at the time where it appears. Otherwise, everything is fine. It's pretty much all it is, just having the luck to have that pentagram. Okay, sure. I don't want to go bird, but I guess I have to now. Thank you. All right, pentagram is looking nice. Okay, I'm trying a different approach now. Roughly similar idea, it's just I think this is better with dealing with AoE. I don't have any passives. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Pentagram is already up to 45%. That was my first one, cooldown reduction. Big one for this. Especially for Summon Knight. When well, no, I'm absolutely grabbing that right now. Okay, whip. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, get the orb. All right, passives are now in. That's fine. Okay. 
Duplicator. need to decide. I guess let's do it. I need I need to survive, so that's what that's taking that into consideration. Oh my god, it's brutal. Ah, that's not cool. Alright, go. Shit. Okay, resurrect. Oh no, it's the same problem again. I don't have any form of protection. These things are going to be shooting. Taking the gamble, I'm leaving the chest there uh, for a minute. Let's see if my hopes and dreams <laughs> still kept intact. Oh no. They're not. This is just not gonna go well until I get one one item in particular.
fine. Don't worry about that too much. Maybe I should just keep re-rolling it's like I can. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's the only time this goes well is when I get, I get the candy box and I'm able to pick the one item that's extremely good on this character. Otherwise, it just kind of goes the same way. Okay. I'm looking at the time. Alright. I've never been so determined to finish something just because I know I can do it. It's just the game being a dick. Alright, I'm trying a new approach. The Bible. Thank you. <laughs> the same. We're not. Do we're not doing well. May or may not work out. I don't know. We'll see. Knives is a huge gamble because it sucks up until a certain point. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, well, guess what I just got. I guess attempt starts now, huh? That's correct. Okay. That's the setup. I'm not going orb this time. Like, I know that that restricts the book, but the book is honestly here just to spin around in a circle. And nothing else. I've already got. It's like doubling down on the the balls. Okay, um, we definitely want to secure that. Last item is pentagram. There it is. Okay. This is a weird build, but one way or another, I'm gonna get this.
I need to get knife to the point where I can take out the Reaper, or I need to get not, uh, pentagram to the point where it one-shots it. I'm gonna choose for knife first, because we're not gonna make the cutoff for the other one. The knife's already been started. I'll get pentagram when it makes sense. Alright, but this is officially the final attempt now. Now that I've got the build, it's comfortable, it gives me a fair chance. There's no life leech in this build, so we'll see how this that goes. That's probably the biggest downside to this. I was just unlucky, I can't believe that happened. How many knives are required? Two more. Okay. Good. How's it looking? Pentagram two more, knife two more, so they're pretty equal. Knife one more.
can reroll. Uh, there we go. Alright, knives are ready. But I just need the evolution. Oh! Lucky. No knife evolution, though. Okay. But I mean, it's, it's ready. Pentagram's ready, too. They're both ready. I'm, like, stacking everything in terms of passives. There's the rape off. Touch, please. That wasn't it. Don't worry, it doesn't count. Okay. Pentagram upgrade. I'm hoping this has the potential to keep me alive. I don't know. I don't know if it will. Like, no heals is a ballsy move. Fireworks are getting strong enough to, like, keep things at bay. Is 
This is working. I mean, knives are basically infinite at this point already. Oh god. I gotta revive. This is the problem with not having heals. move for the exit. These skulls are so annoying. Oh shit, I got that. Okay. Big fireworks. Oh, it's so hard to see. Stage is the worst, honestly. No heals anywhere. I hate how it does that, how they just surround the edges and you can't, there's no gaps to squeeze between. Truly sucks. I think there's only one way I'm going to achieve this now that I look at it. Alright, there's Knife Storm.
I need to let these knives light my path forward. <laughs> Ah, oh, fucking skull. I think that would have worked if I had... Life regen. That's what I was trying to go for. I was trying to go for the left cloak part. That's uh, alright. Alright, I give up for now. <laughs> I'm getting a lot closer to it. I think... Knife is a realistic way to do it. It's not bad. It's just, you also need, the hard requirement for this is heal, without question. I just, I guess I need to keep that in mind. So like, it either has to be whip or life regen. But even life regen's not enough. Or the, the ball item, anyway. We'll leave it for now. <laughs> I do hope me hitting myself against this brick wall has been entertaining. So, gonna take a short two minute break and then we're gonna continue found them hourglass. So, yeah, get a snack or something. And I'll be back shortly. But if you're here for Vampire Survivors or are watching later on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. See ya, YouTube. <laughs> I gotta say that so then people don't think I'm going offline on Twitch. So, anyway.